Hey y'all. I think that's enough creepy menu noises. Resident Evil. I am back here, Resident Evil. I've got a couple hours to stream. I'm going to a Halloween party tonight. We are Chris. All right, let's see, what else has changed? My uh, Sazabi model kit has a head on it. How cool is that? I am extremely slow at model kits. All right, so, Chris with shotgun. And a shield key, that's what we got. All right, so we're still looking for a helmet key. But I think we are past the point where we just kind of wander around the mansion aimlessly. Because now, there are a limited number of doors that are still locked. I'm kind of hoping that we can escape Spencer Mansion today. That would be a good goal to hit. So... If we're downstairs here, if we go upstairs, there are a couple of locked doors. So let's try there first. I think that we will still be fighting mostly zombies, so I'm going to stick with just the shotgun for now. See how that goes. Travel on light. start. It feels a little odd to be playing Resident Evil in the afternoon when it's like a beautiful autumn day. It is a little cloudy, so there's that, but it just feels like a nighttime game. Alright, so what's our next target? Where do we go? I can go try the door to the right of the music room, and if that doesn't work, I can go out to the main hall and through that storage room. Try that. of the game is the one with the good soundtrack. After this original release, they did the director's cut, which had the same music, but then they did the DualShock version, and in the DualShock version, they replaced all the music in the game with music that is not as good. That's locked from inside. I think the composer eventually admitted that he had handed off to somebody else and had them ghostwrite all the music and it turned out very badly. Okay, 
let's try this door to the right of the main hall. I may or may not have left a guy in here. Summer Games Done Quick 2019 t-shirt. I think a big chunk of my t-shirt closet at this point is Summer Games and Awesome Games Done Quick t-shirts. Let's try up here where we found Richard. Apparently dead. So where is Rebecca in all this? We met Rebecca in the medicine room and she said she was gonna join us. And then she just kinda of did not. Hey, there we go. That's the only use, the only use is this one door, okay. Well, hopefully seven shells is enough. Snake one, Chris zero. Resident Evil. You have once again entered the world of survival horror. This game is similar to some previous games who had dealt with similar themes like uh, Alone in the Dark and Sweet Home, which this game started out as a remake of. But this is the game that kind of codified a lot of tropes and named it Survival Horror. So I did not have enough shells to kill the snake. However, I also missed a bunch. I probably want a healing item of some kind. Oh, there's more shells. Oh, I, how many shells I got? So, let's take a full heal. 
Now, I guess my alternative is I could try and save ammo and see if I can figure out a knife only strat, but. Really, we're flush with shotgun shells, so. I can't believe poor Richard in here didn't get up and come after us. In the instruction manual, they have biographies of every single STARS Alpha Team and Bravo Team member, which is kind of neat. They really did account for like actual rosters of characters. And eventually, if you play both campaigns, you find out what happened to every single one of them. he fleeing? Please flee. Also, I'm gonna scoop that up. I will. Do I need to move so you can escape? Yes, go away. Thank you. All right. I think Chris is now 0 and 1 and 1 against the snake because I'm gonna call that one a draw. shells did we use? Chris! There she is. Am I poisoned? Damn it, give me serum. I'm sure the serum must be there. I'll be right back. Alright, second playable character, Rebecca Chambers, Team Medic. She has only a Beretta. I think it's the same as Chris's.
Another difference in the director's cut, the next version of the game, that I'm not sure I mentioned, is that they added a crit chance to the pistol. So that every now and then it'll pop a zombie's head for you. That is not in this game. is wearing a bandana, so if this was a uh, Metal Gear Solid game, that would mean we had infinite ammo, but uh, not in this setting. Bandana is just for swag. I'm getting the layout in my head again. generally figure out where to go. access the item box. That kind of sucks. Because he was also a little bit injured, so I could have brought back a green herb, but no dice. I wonder what the game over screen looks like if you take too long. If it just interrupts your gameplay and says Chris died, or what? Rebecca Chambers is the protagonist of Resident Evil Zero for GameCube. If I were playing in story order, I would be playing Resident Evil Zero first, but nobody wants to play Resident Evil Zero first. If I continue the series long enough, we'll get to it in a release order. in a snake. Are you okay? Ah, uh, my head is killing me. I think you will be all right because I gave you a shot, but please be careful. You saved my life. I owe you one. I'm glad I could help. Orange caution, but we did get a moon crest, and we used up our key, so I think we're probably ready to swing by an item box and then see if we can leave the mansion. Mm -hmm. 
So, while we're hanging out here with Rebecca, I don't think we talked last time about exactly why the dialogue in this game is so bad. It's not just because it was low budget. Uh, this story is from the Boss Fight Books release on Resident Evil by Philip J. Reed. Um, he digs a lot into the behind the scenes and tracks down a lot of the actors and directors involved for the actual live action cutscenes in this game. And what happened was the game is set in America, but it was made in Japan in 1995-96. And so they knew that they wanted all of the dialogue to be in English. So even in Japan, this game is in English, just with Japanese subtitles. They did not dub it into Japanese. And what they did for all the actors in the cutscenes and the voice actors in the game is they basically went to a local temp agency and said, give us all your white people. So when they were recording the dialogue, the guy who had written the dialogue and was directing the actors via translator spoke English, spoke some English, but not very well. And so he would tell them over and over again, I can't understand you. Nobody can understand you. Slow down, slow down. So, you know, even though none of the people involved are actual actors, I mean, they were all amateurs. They were just from a temp agency. They could still say lines like, get to the mansion, but he would tell them to slow down over and over until they were saying, get to the mansion, until he could understand it. That's the main reason why the dialogue is so bad in this game, is because he was telling them, no, 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 I can't understand you. You have to enunciate and say literally one word at a time. So the dialogue in the series gets better very gradually. I mean, it's still kind of schlocky B-horror vibes, but uh, it's never again quite this bad. I do not exactly remember where I left zombies over here, and we definitely could still die if we take a bite, so... No, that's not too bad. Alright. All these rooms are so empty. Empty walls. what crests we need in order to actually escape the mansion. So I'm probably going to try to take all of them, even though... Actually, Orange Caution might be a good time to use our double green mixed herb. A green heals a third of your health, a double green heals two-thirds, and a green and red heals all of your health, if I recall. Literally no room for anything else. How am I out on ink ribbons? I think I only have one. Now I know, because I heard it when I set foot out there before, that there's a dog out here. Good. So let's take the Beretta after swapping out for a full magazine. And then we'll travel light and see if there's anything we can pick up along the way. I really don't want to die because I will have to fight the snake again, though we could probably do a slightly better job of it. But we only have one ink ribbon. Do I save? I always end these games with way too many ink ribbons, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and save and limit how much we'll have to repeat. I'm hoping if we get to new areas, we will have 
a chance at new ink ribbons. I love the screen says checking memory card slash S because I always think in my head, you don't have to be sarcastic about it. All right, that's it. No more saves. Must find ink ribbons. Last key we're missing. You can't really tell, but that castle almost looks like Hohenschwangau, which is a kind of yellow painted castle that's across the valley from Neuschwanstein. I only think about it because Neuschwanstein was in another painting elsewhere in the mansion. But that could actually be Hohenschwangau. Maybe Spencer's family was Bavarian. Yeah, you hear the paw steps. Half a magazine could probably do one more dog if I needed to. When the sun sets in the west and the moon rises in the east, stars will begin to appear in the sky and wind will blow towards the ground. Then the gate of new life will open. What was it? Moon in the west? Sun in the west, moon in the east, stars up top wind in the ground. Oh, I don't even have to figure it out. It just puts it in the right slot. Oh, I didn't mean to use it again. See, people say Chris Redfield is a dummy. He's got this puzzle all on his own. You can do it, Chris. I believe in you. Now there's a clear inventory. So probably we could run back to the item box, but we just saved, so. Let's see if I can pick up some stuff along the way. Like a small key. You can't always see the things you're going to pick up in this game. So you kind of got to do the thing where you mash your face into the wall and just press X over and over again and see what you can find. Frank, is it? It's into square. Square crank. Are we off the map? Not quite. We are officially out of the mansion. Disturb the dogs. Just pick up the herbs. What 
does this room even look like? Courtyard. 1F. Alright, so kind of running this way towards the camera. Around an obstruction. Through a door. Let's go. One, two, two dogs. All right, not bad, not bad. A water passage. Don't tell me Chris also cannot swim. Crank, turn the lever. The water is running down the opposite side. We are not done with that crank yet. I love that these characters are doing literally this entire game because they don't want to go out the front door of the mansion because there were some dogs. So in order to avoid having to go through the zombie dogs, we are fighting like giant snakes, traitorous team members, a million zombies, locked doors, traps, and also other zombie dogs. And we could just leave now. I mean, so there were dogs right at the front door, but here we are out in the back courtyard, just hop this little retaining wall and go. What are you doing? Why are you still in the house? Chris! Grab Rebecca, buddy up, and just leave. Eat. Alright, still in the courtyard. We're gonna kind of turn right. I heard a dog out here. There's a dog. Two dogs. Don't hit the dog. Oh no. Uh, stuck in the corner. Three dogs. Goodbye. It's a three dog night. Alright, I want to pick up these doors, so we're going to pop this one. Oh no, there are too many. I will not have ammo. Nope. Ow. Three dogs! No! Run! Chris! Alright, bad decision. Next door. Ugh. Alright, so bluer for poison. In my experience, you don't actually get poison very much in this game, but you could. Giant snake notwithstanding. So we can bank one. What's behind door number one? special. I'd be about ready for a nap. Alright, so let's bank a herb. Can I have a full magazine? Yeah. Reload the gun. Bank a crank. Small key? First aid spray, very good. I 
magazine. Thank goodness everybody who lived around this mansion used 9mm ammo. Nobody used 45 or something. Once again, the game gives us a typewriter with no ink ribbons next to it. Oh, man. Well, what you gonna do? Zombies, I'd still rather use a shotgun, so pardon me while I go retrieve my weapon of choice. Once again, reaching into a filthy bathtub in a horror movie this is not a good plan. And once again, it worked. All right. I will take the sea room key. Key to enter the control room. Now, do I even need to pop the zombie? It's only one shell. It'll let me explore the room at my leisure, so let's go ahead and do it. Be patient here. the little animation of the spent shell popping out. It's juicy. The desk is locked. Now we need a small key. Well, pick it up, Chris. five shells for the room. That's worth it. Now I see this book over here. The Red Book. Like the Red Book of Westmarch and Lord of the Rings. Check it. All pages are blank. Well, the control room key and the red book seem like story items, so probably a good thing we came in here. Oh, 
Oh, trigger warning, spiders. If you're an arachnophobe, look away. Nope. Oh, no. Do not want. There's something on this table and I want it. Yes, I really want it. In fact, my pockets are full anyway, so let's just get out of here. Can run back to the save room. Save. Continue exploring. Now we've definitely done enough to merit a new save slot. need these two things before too long. Let's reload the shotgun. If I were gonna shoot the spiders, I would probably take the Beretta, but uh, I'm not really planning on shooting them. I've got plenty of blue herbs out in that corner of the hallway, so we can fix poison. that typewriter look like it says IPP or IBD? I like the brand of typewriters in Resident Evil 4 is Imhotep. That would be a cool name for a typewriter brand. I would buy an Imhotep typewriter. Back to Spider Hall. It's broken, I didn't even see what it was. Is that a pinball machine? I'm sure this is part of a puzzle somehow. A nine ball. A three ball. Okay, so if this is a clock face and 12 is up here at the top of the table to Chris's right, the two pool cues, one of them looks slightly shorter. It looks like the time would be 2.15. Does that look right to everybody? I'm trying to remember 2.15. Oh, excuse me. Nope. Don't blurt me. 2.15. That could be 2.15 or 0.215. Uh, if you see a statue in a Resident Evil game, probably you're going to have to push it somewhere. Possibly over a hole in the ground. here. Is that another statue? Well, this one's just for some herbs, but uh, don't mind if I do. In fact, since I'm already on fine, 
Let's smoke it. We can combine those if we need to, if we don't find another item box anywhere along here. It's locked. It's the most normal looking door we've seen in the game. Ah, uh, this looks like a keypad. where we do 215 sure is I think there's a puzzle way to solve that too I think you can figure out how it turns the lights on and off to get them all lit one and two is three three and four is seven Two and four is six. Six and seven is thirteen. Thirteen and three is sixteen. It's useless. Chris can't handle chemicals. Chris, what can you do? Chris cannot play piano. Apparently cannot swim. He can't handle chemicals. Chris, my dude. Did you graduate high school? Unbelievable. Yep, that would all be useful if Chris wasn't such a rockhead. take the dormitory key. Oh, do not want. Nope, nope, nope. Goodbye. Goodbye. My friend Travis says, it always could be worse. There could also be bees. Yes, toss it away. bathroom. shotgun shell for 15 bullets. Eh, that's alright. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, no, not, not the guardhouse. Wait. It said dormitory map, but now the map says it's guardhouse? Alright, guardhouse. See a little ladder icon at the back of this room. Looks like we could use another small key. Plant 42, report. Four days have passed since the accident, and the plant at point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It has been affected by the T-Virus differently than other plants have been, and shows unique shape in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it was originally. 
There are two ways in which Plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first one is through its root that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. It is easily imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water and promotes the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come out of those bulbs and they are the second resource for its nutrition. Once sensing movement, Plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it. Then it starts sucking up blood using the suckers located at the back of its vine. It also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by twining its vines around it, especially when it captures prey or is sleeping. Sleeping? The plant sleeps, okay. Several staff members have already fallen victims to this. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sarton. It's a sleepy plant. How do we make him go to sleep? Take things I would not do for 200. Wouldn't be a PS1 game without some kind of block pushing puzzle. Oh, wait. Can't pull it. I can only push it. So we gotta get it out to where I can push it away from the wall to get behind it. One more thing Chris can't do, pull boxes. But uh, I don't think Jill can either, so we'll give him a pass on this one. Jill is our standard of capability. She can play the piano. She passed chemistry. That box kind of says zombie. properly? Yeah, I guess so. Oh boy. Wading down into black water. One more thing I do not want to do. I guess we'll probably try to wade to the right and go counterclockwise around that room. I'm sure there's nothing in the water. I'm sure it's fine. So, sure. I 
anything else? A little note on the front doesn't mean anything. Yep. I don't know about you, but rising water freaks me out. If you've seen The Rescuers, the scene at the end of that movie where the kids are in the cave and the tide's coming in, it gave me nightmares when I was a kid. I get tense thinking about it, man. Oh no, excuse me. Oh, do not want. Oh, do not want. Oh, Chris. Other door? Other door? Alright, well, there's the slot I need. Walking right into a shark. Alright, so... Cronk, pull the lever. Right lever. All right. It seems like there's a lot of ammo in this room, but uh, probably there's a story item that I need more. Alright, so shells. I think I saw some handgun magazines over here. Uh, am I really going to run all the way back here? I mean, the ammo is so valuable, you know? Do a little backtracking. Sharks. If I come back, I can also pick up that herb. I'm gonna see if I can use this key first, because that'll be one slot. Uh, is this the door? There we go. I'm betting Plant 42 is gonna be in that big square room at the right edge of the map, so I think we can explore these next couple of little rooms. See if we can use up some more resources before I go back for ammo. You got any zumbas? I don't hear any. Alright. Room is clear. Yeah. 
Vigil Report. As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of the plant infected by the tyrant virus. We also have found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found an element that destroys these plants' cells rapidly in UMB number 16, one of the series of UMB chemicals that we used for that experiment. We named this UMB number 16 as V-Jolt. In our calculation, it will take less than five seconds to destroy plant 42 if we put the V-Jolt directly on the root. You need to mix some of the UMB series chemicals in a specific order to create V-Jolt, but the UMB series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas which is harmful to the human body. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Following are the types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. Chris can't mix chemicals anyway, so... Great. Very good. Yes, please. Hey. All right, so if we go back, we're looking to pick up two magazines, shells, and a green herb. I think we can do that. I should have picked up the magazines anyway, because the magazine bullets stack. Oh. Oh. Foolish, Eric. Foolish. We'll just say I'm role-playing as Chris every time I make a dumb mistake. Just getting in character. Here's my plan. I'm gonna run all the way back and pick up that ammo. Then I'm gonna run back to the save room, use one of these ink ribbons to save the game, and then we'll head back here for plant 42. This will take a minute, so if anybody needs to refill their tea or coffee, go for it. <laughs> Was there another herb? Oh, there were like two in the corner. Oh, geez. In that case, let's go ahead and use one. I kinda feel bad for the sharks now. sign up for this. I got Beretta ammo for days. This is about the point. This is about the point in the game where you don't have to worry about resources so much. 
We got shells and shells. Let's reload the shotgun. Alright, now we're gonna run back and save. I'm loaded down with supplies enough that I could probably take the plant boss right now, but I'd really rather not repeat all of this. So we're going to play it safe. plant is to dodge. If it's easy to dodge, it'd be nice to just dump all of this 9mm ammo into it, but I'm assuming it's going to be hard to dodge. And the shotgun is probably a better idea in that case. shells. Alright, that's good. Let's go. Is this right? Or was it the first door? It was the first door. If you look when the screen goes black, I cleared up the video picture quality a little bit from last time. And as far as I know, all I did was disconnect the retro tank cables and then reconnect all the component cables to it. So it may have just been a cable that was not making a good enough connection. It's still not perfect. There's still a little bit of analog fuzz, but it's much better. All right, by all means, just walk up to it, Chris. Thank you. Great. No, 
It's no use. The roots of it are in the basement. You could... Whoa! Chris! Take this file with you. Use the information in it in order to make the potion and kill the root. Becca, please. I didn't realize you don't even fight it as Chris. We are going to get to do chemistry. Chris is so reliant on the women in the game to be more capable than he is. All right, chemistry time. So, we had that chemical formula. Step one will be one plus two equals three. And then we'll need a two plus four equals six. Well, we'll need all of it eventually, I guess. No, 1 plus 2 equals 3, and then 3 plus 4 equals 7. We'll do that first. I think I saw that 1 is water. Water is 1. Red is 2. So, water and red. Sure. Where is the red? That's it. Yes. So let's combine water and red. That's now number three. Now three we're going to combine with four. Right, and we've got four on the other wall. Three and four, so there's our seven. Now we gotta make six with two and four. Two and four gives us six. Now we're going to do six and seven. Six and seven. And then we'll make another three and add that. And three is water and red. Number four. That's it. Three and 
3 and 13. That was it, right? Let's double check. I don't want to screw this up right at the end. 3 and 13. V jolt. This is a good video game puzzle. It's setting appropriate. It's mildly interesting. It's not just, you know, moving color coded pipes. It's not a Towers of Hanoi puzzle. It's not Pipe Dream. Thumbs up, good video game puzzle. Wood puzzle again. What do you call fear of sharks? The shark prefix is like carcara, so maybe carcarophobia. Nope, nope, nope. Bad again. It's bad again. Chris! Chris! Did I really just get snatched up immediately? Get up, please! My dude! My dude! How's your health? Okay? Turn to a corner. I am not going to die here. Nope. Is that it? We good? is less like a plant and more like a blooper from Super Mario Sunshine. That was a lot of shells, but uh, they gave us the ammo for it, so I'll take this win. This ought to be our helmet key. There we go. Is there anything else in this room? There's no search text on the dead plant. 
anything else in the fireplace? All right. Oh, I can't believe it. Are you okay? Yeah, so much for him. We got to the root of the problem. Saved again. I just... Really, thank you. You'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? I guarantee it. Well, Don't be a creep, Chris, Chris. This is Richard's radio. We received communication from Brad at the courtyard a little while ago, but he is still flying around in the sky. He obviously couldn't hear our voices. Maybe his radio is broken. I see. Understood. I'll keep it. We should somehow let Brad know we're here. At the pharmaceutical room I found a little while ago, I think I will be able to make something. Anyway, Chris, I'm glad you are safe. I think she can heal us now, which means I probably did not need to use that mixed herb, but uh, no regrets. Let's uh, just for the sake of story see what she says when we go in here. This room is fully equipped with medical supplies. I can treat you, except for your major injury. Would you like me to? Yes, please do something for me, temporarily. Most of these medicines are from Umbrella. What's Umbrella? Don't you know? It's a large-scale pharmaceutical company based in Raccoon City. Oh, I see. This is where the broader lore starts kicking in. We've heard about Umbrella. We know that they were doing actual experiments here. Wesker! Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Aren't you with Jill? I'm sorry. We were attacked by a strange monster. I lost track of her while we were scouting around. I hope she's okay. I see. Well, it's not your fault. This place is crazy. If we stay here, all of us will end up dead. What should we do, Wesker? We have to complete this mission. Whether we escape or stay and look for Jill, we don't have many bullets left, and we can't even protect ourselves. We are still in trouble. Chris, there are a lot of locked rooms in that house. Check them out one more time. There must be a place to hide safely. I'll look around the house a little more. Okay. Let's get going. Speak for yourself about being limited in ammo. I got so many 9mm rounds, I jangle when I walk.
In fact, let's go back to the Beretta, because we know there are dogs on the way back to the house. And we actually know that there are healing items too. Hopefully we can pick some up. speak too soon, but really, this is going pretty well. Hello, hello. I'm not planning on coming back to the guardhouse slash residence, so... Let's go ahead and bank these herbs. Still finding more bullets. We're into triple digits. Not having to use any ammo on Plant 42 just makes me feel like we're way ahead of the ammo curve. Alright, violence against dogs upcoming. If you don't like hearing that little yelping sound video game dogs make when you shoot them. Mute the stream. Is that the radio? Can I use it? Radio. Hey. This is Brad. I know you can't answer me. But somehow, give me a phone. This is Chris. Brad, can you hear me? Damn. No dogs. Where are the dogs? Don't complain. I did not have to shoot three dogs. I'm going to take the greens and leave the blues. I think those are blue. One hit right at the end. All right, all right. All good. I want this explore a little bit.
All right. More dogs coming up. Can I shoot past the bushes? I can. Just barely. <sighs> I mean, do I really need it at this point? Sure. Those look blue, and it is hard to tell. The PlayStation's resolution is 240p. And this looks better because I've got a line doubler that's upscaling it a little bit. It could also do 480i, but you know. Interlaced. They tended to use that for uh, menu screens. We're doing pretty good on healing items, too, tell you the truth. I'm ready. Not ready. I'm not ready. I only have my pistol. Run, Chris. Let's go. Don't stand there. Oh no! The game like turned me in the cutscene. No! Run! Oh! One more swipe while I realize that I used the helmet key. Oh. Still fine. Hmm. Can I can I pick things up? There we go. Definitely need to empty my pockets and come back. But we are just around the corner from a safe room. As long as I can avoid getting swiped. Swiped by this hunter. Nope. Oh, failed. Just a little poke. Just a little poke. Oh no. Oh no. All right, well, back to shotgun, please. Go ahead and use that. Let's pick up this magazine.
How many ink ribbons do I have? One, two. What have we done? We ran back after plant 42. It's gone pretty well, but if we only have one, I'm gonna try to hold out and do a little bit more. All right, are we dodging hunters or are we shooting hunters? There's only one out here. I've got tons of healing. Let's see if we can dodge them. I just gotta have faster fingers. Nope. Door, door, Chris, door. This whole game is me griping at Chris for my failures. Magnum rounds. I will take the magnum rounds. Though I do not have the magnum. Doom book one. Eagle of east, wolf of west? This must be the Eagle of East. All right, anything else? Now, where is another locked door? Over to the right of the music room, that's one. Um, there's one up there locked behind a keypad. It's a long way away. They're all a long way away. I'll probably try going upstairs and through the U-shaped hallway. That'll let us empty our pockets on the way. Alright, out the store and left. No poke. So now do I save? I said I was going to do a couple more things. We've been going about an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, let's save here. We will finish out with the mansion next time, I hope. Last ink ribbon once again. There we go. Again, not going too bad. Definitely got et by a snake. That was a little unpleasant, but made it through the chemical puzzle first try. We've established that Rebecca is much more capable than Chris. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll catch you guys next time. I probably won't have a beard because I'm about to go shave it off for my Halloween costume that I'm going to wear to the party tonight. So uh, thank you for joining me, and we will end the stream there.